Hi, I'm Rosie. I'm a senior designer and bespoke specialist at Jupiter Play. Today we're going to talk about our design process, in particular around Paul Park, which we delivered for Bournemouth Christchurch and Paul Council. This project is particularly special as it was a design-led collaborative approach. It really bucked the trend of the tender process usually adopted by local authorities that we work with. When designers like me get the opportunity to collaborate with clients, it gives us a really amazing opportunity to understand unique and intriguing aspects of the site and wider context. We then use this to inform the concept and the design. Our design approach is led by the playful Reba process. To start with, we developed the, the concept and the client was really inspired by the um, Victorian setting and wanted to tell the story of a Victorian plant hunter. So for that reason, I was really inspired by um, exotic oriental landscapes and therefore that led and informed the design of the layout and a lot of the bespoke pieces in the play area. This really creative approach has allowed me to come up with some really unique interesting ideas around the theme that we came up with. For example my favourite part in the plant explorers area is the pond so it's inspired by um, a Japanese water lily pond. We have balancing plates um, designed to look like water lilies. We have seaweed with koi carp carvings and it's just a really beautiful, playful space. So not only can we have all this creativity and this narrative storytelling throughout our designs, but we also make sure that there is the right product and playability running throughout all our designs. My understanding of our products and the bespoke process allows me to fuse the creativity with the actual products that we're putting into the play area, so it's a real holistic approach. So with all that in mind, we're going to take a look around Paul Park and hear from our client Martin Whitchurch at BCP. Hi, I'm Martin Whitchurch, uh, Open Space Development Manager for BCP Council, opening the new play area in Paul Park. So, uh, so for this project, in delivering uh, the two play areas in Pool Park, uh, we used a slightly alternative procurement method. Uh, so instead of um, a six-week tender window where we'd be asking the play suppliers to actually design the new facilities within that six weeks, uh, we evaluated and awarded uh, the tender just purely based on concepts and how what the process would be for design. Uh, so I think the, uh, the value that this type of contract has brought to us and the way we've worked with Jupiter Play has really allowed us to kind of get into the design detail um, with a lot of time to do that um, and really consider the, the unique properties of each site, both play areas, um, and kind of the intricacies around uh, levels and kind of um, shade and trees and kind of the, the, the design that we wanted to get out of it, uh, the theming, just a colour palette and all that sort of detail. The site behind me really flows. You can see that um, there's a kind of a, the, the use of the site is really organic and natural. Um, you've got dwell, dwell spaces for people to gather and just watch. Um, and I'm not sure you necessarily get all of that detail and it done as well as that if you did it through a normal tender process. So certainly on larger sites like these uh, with the higher value projects, we'd certainly be uh, looking to replicate this process again. Um, it doesn't create more work, it doesn't uh, add any more time. It's just a better process, so I think definitely definitely would be recommending that for the future. There's a few details in the design that we involved the local community in. The snake here, we gave the children at the local school three options to choose from and this is the, the option that they chose. 
Another design detail in the play area is the sign, um, a directional sign which points to different areas around the play area. We ask the children to name the big bespoke structure at the top of the hill and because of the proximity to the lake or the lagoon, they named it the Lagoon Lookout. This is one of two bespoke units. We've designed it using standard components to make it really challenging and children can test their agility. We wanted to use tailored ideas such as coloured posts and coloured ropes to make it really fit the theme of the jungle. At Jupiter Play, we want to ensure that we're delivering the highest quality installations at all points and therefore we ensure that the subcontractors we use meet our stringent health and safety conditions. They have to complete our um, subcontractor approval form. We carry out regular assessments on their on-site work, which then translates into a league table, which we can share with our customers if required. This ensures that we keep a level of uh, quality. This is the second bespoke unit in the play area and it's packed full of play value. There's actually five different types of bridges and ways to move around the unit. There's a wobbly bridge, a crawl tunnel and three different types of jungle bridge crossings. To be one of the few female contracts managers in the play industry, it feels like an amazing achievement to deliver a project of this size and scale along with our amazing team at Jupiter Play.